This week, a new product hit the internet and it's been creating a lot of buzz. It's called the Flow Hive. Let's check it out. These two jars of honey came out of that beehive there without opening the hive, and without disturbing the bees. It's something we've been working on for a decade. My first reaction to seeing this was, ah, oh, I was going to do this exact April Fool's joke, but now it's been done, so I can't. Really, I was going to attach a honey gate. That's a valve on the bottom of a honey bucket. No, not that kind of honey bucket. This kind. Anyway, I was going to take this gate and attach it to a hive and show getting honey out of a hive that way and show how easy it is. It was going to be hilarious, but now it's a real thing. Then I noticed that they somehow got a trademark on the word flow. Seriously? We can just get a trademark on any word we want now? I wonder if the snowboard brand knows about this. Or the video game. Or the movie. Or this wireless controller. Finally, I wondered, could this actually work? And if so, is it a good or a bad thing? After looking over the patent and doing some thinking, I have to say, I'm not a fan. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't know these guys, and I pass no judgment on them. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and say they're probably good people and spent a lot of time and effort creating a pretty clever and well-engineered product. Now let's take a look at the patent and some pictures and see how this thing works. It's basically a frame of partially formed cells that the bees fill with honey and cap with wax. Once capped, you turn a crank that separates the cells into channels that allow the honey to flow down and out through a tube. But why? First of all, honey harvesting is not the most difficult thing for a beekeeper. In fact, I'd argue it's probably one of the easiest. Personally, it's my second favorite, number one being catching swarms. So this solution just isn't needed. But I think there's a bigger problem at the root of this. Actually, make that two things. N no, three. The first problem is for beekeepers. This is yet another gadget. There are literally thousands of gadgets being marketed to beekeepers, and it's really easy to get caught up in the gadget frenzy and think you need to buy them all. Buying up a bunch of unnecessary gadgets is a waste of money, and it eventually leads to frustration and lack of interest in the hobby because you just can't afford it anymore. Beekeeping doesn't have to be an expensive money pit. The second, and I'd say the biggest problem of all, is for the non-beekeeper. When my friends find out that I'm a beekeeper, their first thought often jumps to all the honey that I must be swimming in, and they want to get some of it. The general public seems to think that bees are just honey-making machines that you can just tap into anytime you want. And now this product makes this thought quite literal. Bees are so much more than honey machines. Honey is a precious resource, and it can't just be taken on a whim. During a harvest, care must be taken to not take too much. It's their honey. They've been storing it up for themselves, not us. We're robbing them of their work, and we need to pay respect to that, and do so with care and consideration. We've become complacent with the abundance of honey found on store shelves, and we don't fully appreciate what it takes to make that honey. This Flow Hive product feeds into that consumer mindset of take, take, take. I think that's one of the reasons this advertisement went viral. It makes us believe that it will be easier now to take and consume. Finally, I have a problem with the very premise that this removes a barrier to beekeeping. That this simplifies beekeeping and makes it easier for children or people who would otherwise be fearful of bees. This is false. They're selling a fantasy. If you're squeamish around bees and you can't handle a simple honey harvest, you shouldn't be keeping bees. You'll still be required to open a hive from time to time before and after a honey harvest. There are so many other tasks and problems that come up besides taking honey. If you can't handle it, don't do it at all. The flow hive is not the solution. And take a look at this nonsense. This is pure marketing rubbish. In a real world situation, you'd create a robbing frenzy doing something like that. If you're squeamish about keeping bees, good luck getting the hundreds of bees off your pancakes as you make your run back into the house. This may actually be a well-engineered product that I think is an ingenious design concept, but it has no place in any beehive. But don't just take my word for it. 
Go watch the full video and decide for yourself. Is this something you'd be willing to use? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.